Cody Rhodes is getting sued. Apparently, there's a band called American Nightmare that has been around since 1998, and I believe they filed a trademark for it in 2016. And they are still active because they just toured in 2023. They are suing for attorney fees, $150,000 in damages, and $300,000 for a trademark infringement. The way I see this ending is WWE probably buying the trademark off of this guy, but that will mean WWE will own the American Nightmare, and he can't use it outside WWE again if he stays in wwe for the long haul that'll be perfect but i can see a scenario where he somehow leaves the company and can't use american nightmare just like he couldn't use cody rhodes speaking of lawsuits somebody is suing wwe because apparently they stole their ideas without compensation they claim to have came up with the name stomping grounds a unique cage mat concept and a company called pie apparently the proof they have is that they message wwe through instagram so this lawsuit is going to get thrown out because there's no guarantee that wwe even saw that instagram post and there's usually a third party moderating the social media pages. So it ain't even like Triple H himself is on this Instagram page looking at it. He also claimed that WWE sent Sasha Banks and Daniel Bryan to give him $100,000 in hush money. But this whole lawsuit is about him not getting paid. So if you denied the $100,000, then how did you not get paid? The lawsuit seems kind of ridiculous to me. It's probably going to get thrown out. I don't see it going anywhere. Rich Swan was found guilty of disorderly conduct and public intoxication. He will have six months probation, $500 fine, and have to pay his legal fees. But once he pays his $500 fine, the probation goes away. WrestleVos is reporting that WWE is supposed to have a prime time special coming to NBC very soon. This will be the first time in 15 years that WWE do a prime time special on NBC. And lastly, Jackie Redman reported that Brett the Hitman Hart will make an appearance on the first episode of Raw to be on Netflix. I feel like this is WWE digging at AEW again because Bret Hart was the first person to introduce the AEW world title on Dynamite.